Google Chat Tutorial for Beginners This is a simple tutorial on how to use Google Chat like a pro. So first, you just have to go to any web browser and then type Google Chat. You have to click the very first link that you can see here. Tap this one. And once you tap this Google Chat sign in or Google Workspace, what you're going to do next is to simply make sure that you're logged into your account because it will take you directly to Google Chat. Actually, this is one of the applications where you tap this nine dots right here. Okay, so this is Google Chat. So basically, these are the features that you can see on the left side. And let's start with this new chat feature right here. If you tap this, then you can see add people. So these are the people that you want to have a conversation with. You can see create space and other features, which I'm going to talk later on. So if you want to add someone here, you can add them through their email address. So you can just simply type, for example, I want to add Ellie Shadow. Let's just say she is my friend or my workmate or my business partner, something like that. Also, I want to add another one like Alexa. So this person is my group mate or something like that. So basically, this is how you add someone here on Google Chat. Now, once they have added, then you can see that there is an empty group right here. So this is what it looks like. If it's up this uh, three dots, you can see options such as pin, mute, and so on. So if you want to make some adjustment, you just have to click this uh, three dots. Another is that uh, this create a space. Let's just say here in your Google chat, you want to create three spaces. The first space is for your workmate. The second space is that for your workmate, but in other companies, something like that. Or for a third is like your business partners. So you can basically create a space for that. Now, we can see here browse spaces. So here in browse spaces, you can see here all the spaces that you have created. And as you know, spaces are feature designed for team collaboration. So if you have lots of teams and if you want to look for them, then you can go to browse spaces. Okay, so next is we have here find apps. So if you tap this find apps here in Google chat, this feature allows users to search for integrated third-party application directed into their chats or spaces. So basically, this enables teams to streamline workflows by incorporating tools such as project management, task trackers, file sharing, and so on. Okay, so next we have here is message requests. So if uh, there is a message request from someone unknown, so you just have to go right here and you will see uh, their messages. Moving on to shortcuts, you can see here home, mentions, and start. So if you tap home, basically this is your Google chat home. You can start a chat. You can start with a workspace and so on. Okay. So basically that's it. Thread. You can see a thread right here, but I have it started one. You can also toggle on and read messages. So you can see directly what are the and read messages right here. So basically, these are the features that you can see here in your home section. So next we have here is this mentions. So basically the mention and start here. The purpose of mentions are used to notify or directly address specific people in a conversation or space. So you just have to use at and their username so that they will be notified. For start messages, this purpose is to allow users to bookmark or flag important messages for easy access later. Okay, so let's move on to direct messages. Here under direct messages, you can see your spaces. So I have created this workmate earlier. If you want to add more, then you can tap this create new space and create a new space again. For example, workmate 101. So basically different people in each space. Okay. So you can pin a workspace right here. So if I pin this one, even if I create a new space, okay. So for example, workmate 102 or I will create tons of workspace. If I pin a workspace right here, that means this workspace is the most important. And I can find urgent task right here. Okay, so that's the purpose of tapping this pin icon right here. 
notifications if you want to set some adjustment with your notifications just stop this one so these are the options and features that you can see if you tap this at three dots okay so moving on with our spaces so for example if you want to add a conversation or create a conversation within a space right here you can see here chats so first you just have to simply chat someone here like good morning hello something like that and then press enter you can add people if you think that there's missing so you can add more people right here by mentioning their or adding their email address okay so you can share a file if you want to share an important file you can upload this one if it's connected to your google drive then if it's from your device or computer you just have to upload this so after that once you have uploaded or shared this file the people inside this conversation or space they will be notified that you have added a file here and they can see that okay if you want also to assign a task for example you have 10 people here in the workspace you can just mention them if you have assigned a specific task to that person okay something like that so you can click add and basically that's how you add a task here okay so you can also set a date for that and they will be notified just make sure that you have added the correct email address so that they will be notified to when they open their email address okay so you can create a poll right here and then you can also connect application for example if you want to present something okay and you need an application to that you can go to find apps and then connect or add that application here in your workspace so basically that's it all shared files will appear here on your shared okay if you want to add again just tap and then upload from google drive from computer and so on and for all tasks you can see it's right here so that's how easy it is to use or set up a google chat here if you want to do that on your other workspace just feel free to click workspace and you can follow the first step now if you tap this active button above you can just set your status to active do not disturb you can customize this one you can also choose away so for example if you want to add a specific status like uh, you don't want to be disturbed or you're really busy so you can do that here so for example my status is i am really busy and i don't want anyone to interrupt me something like that you can add that you can also set the date for example you will be very busy this week okay or this month now tap done to save and they will be notified your team members will be notified that you're really busy so no work for that okay and then if you want to ask for help just tap this question mark icon if you find or if you encounter some problems you can just simply go directly to their customer support team if you want to adjust with your settings just tap this gear icon and you can change the settings here like your theme your background and so on now if you tap this nine dots above you can see here your mail your gmail your maps um google meet and so on going back to your conversation or text box right here on the right side you can see your features like adding emojis if you want to edit format if you want to add gif or if you want to add url or something like that you just have to go to the side to add these elements or these icons to your text so basically that's how easy it is google chat tutorial for beginners and i do really hope that after watching this you can use google chat like a pro so thank you for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials